his three-point attempt. Richardson rips down a rebound, trying to work the other way. Shim almost loses it out of bounds, but retains possession. Trey Allen with a three of his own, and he's off as well. Foul is going to go against Judah Crow. Trying to get the board over Kenton Tallheim. Okay, so we're back on. Sorry for the inconvenience there. Don't know what happened. We must have lost internet for just a little bit. Knocked us off. Three-pointers by Shim and three-pointer by Gavin Tallheim. It gets us evened at threes right here. And this one, offensive rebound by Jeremiah Hansen. And Gavin will fire his second three of the game. This one's short and another offensive board by Hansen. Hansen, Skimper, Tallheim, Tallheim, Brands for the Huskies. Allen, Shim, Crow, Crow, and and Richardson for the Coyotes. Tallheims, three is short as well. Living and dying by the long ball here aimed for both teams. Yeah, and both teams are doing more dying than living early on in this one. You'd like to see him get a little bit more creative as Crow does right there, but misses that scoop layup attempt. Tallheim stops, pops, middle of the lane and drops it. Really acrobatic jumper. It's gonna be a block call against Tallheim here, but I would love to see, and both teams did a good job right there right before I said it, attacking the rim. You know, there's no reason for them to both settle as both of them are full of athletes, both rosters are full of athletes as can slash, and, and they need to work with that dribble penetration to create that inside out passing, because they've got the shooters that can hit the shot, but but with the inside out pass, they're really gonna start knocking it down. Northern Valley substitutes the senior Brian Bencomo in. Where's number 10 here for Northern Valley as well as Gabe Rudd into the game. Number 35, he is a junior for Northern Valley in the middle. Allen is a guy you don't wanna leave open and he parries that three, gives the six foot, six to five lead for the Coyotes. Tallheim floats it high for Ben Como. Great catch by Brian. He'll go to Gabe up high. Elbow jumper around, no good for Gabe. Allen clears, gets the ball up to Crow. Judah trying to go baseline. Run out of room and he hits the out of bounds. <laughs> that would have been on the uh, forever open spaces. Top 10 if he hit that. It was a nice teardrop. <laughs> that shot, Kobe Bryant-esque. Ben Como tied up in a press. Husky's not doing a good job coming to help out the ball handler. And Kai He's Cox Como now on an island. coming to check in. Looks like Brian's going to go sit. Six-five Coyotes lead halfway through this first quarter. Richardson now to Gabe Crow. Working on Foster Brands. Dribble handoff to Judah, who is. Oh, that was not a foul. I'm going to have to disagree with that one. I agree with you. Brands picks I thought, up his I thought first. she was making the jump ball call. Inside Allen for an easy bucket. Perfect. Inbound play there. Someone just lost the most lethal score on the Coyotes. Five points for Northern Valley. They make got it numbers. Make it no. As Gabe Crow kind of got yeah. yeah. Said hello. Gets called for the foul nonetheless. Brands will go to the line to shoot two. Passes the first one in. Foster has been a good free throw shooter this year percentage wise, which is good because he finds himself at the line fairly often for the Huskies. This is on the second. I don't know if it was because of the announcer's jinx or because Drew has checked in for him at the table. One of the two. We Maybe. should keep a bar graph, right? A little bit of both. Gabe. Right to the rim. Well, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Hanson got him across the arms. Sides using his bench early. 
played eight so far here in the first quarter. First shot no good from Gabe Crow. Into the game is Drew Skimper now for Foster. Jaden Shim will come back in for Judah Crow. And Tallheim to check in for Hanson. Snuck him in there on me. He did. Cash is in on the second. He make that first one? No. Gavin Tallheim splits the press himself. Inside out for Kai, now back to Drew. Inside to Rudd. Floater up, no good. And the travel is called as they wanted an over the back call there, but Kai did a nice job backing off. And Richardson fell down. Coach does not like the call or the no call. If Cox would have stuck with it, would have got the call. Kai thought about a three. Now we'll go back it around to Gavin quickly to the high post. Now Good interior, ball. they'll go to Gabe and he'll score it. Nice ball movement there on that offensive piece from the Huskies. And a steal by Kai. Tries to go up forward, but now Kenton's got it. Hesitates, back to Drew. Now swing to Kai and over to Gavin, three. Oh my goodness, how did he not shoot it? He went inside for Rudd and he missed it. Yeah, I, I thought that was all but released. <laughs> yeah. That was like a fish that was too small, man. <laughs> Send it. Send it back. Gabe. Going to go around Tallheim. Good help defense. will free up a three-pointer here for Shim. No good. That was Brennan Aldridge shooting that one. Skimper will be whistled for it. Good hustle points coming for the Coyotes as they continue to work the offensive glass. You know, and I think Skimper doesn't really like the call, but, hey, you got to limit the offensive rebounds because we say it every single game, it's going to lead to points or fouls. Gabe one for two on the evening. Just the first foul against Drew Skimper. Keep kicking my camera. I am? No, I did. Oh. Thing loves to sag too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. He gets them both here. He's three for four on the night. This is the first team that's really felt like they wanted to press Northern Valley. Northern Valley hasn't made them pay yet. Caught way deep and out of everywhere, and a foul will go against Aldridge. Brennan Aldridge is going to pick that one up. Just his first. Inside to Skimper, and he was hammered once. Put it up with the left hand on the right side to put it a second time. Quickly, Allen's going to cross over onto the inside. Has that shot blocked, but Allen picks it back up and scores. He does such a good job creating. Almost created that steal. Back to Kenton. Hesitation. Nobody guards him, so he'll let it fly. No good. Out of it comes Richardson. Travel call against him as he started to stumble as he came to a stop trying to attack that Husky defense. Crow with a little bandage on his left hand. I assume that's fresh. Little tape job on looks like his ring finger on his left hand. Double skip pass to Tallheim. Now quickly back over to Kai. Into the corner for Foster Brands is three, no good, but a, how did Tolheim get that rebound, let alone the next one? And here comes the Coyotes. With numbers. 
Across the formation, they'll go. Allen's three. Bottoms! Tie ball game. No. 16-10. They lead in this one. Gavin breaks the, the press. Now they'll get it back to him and swing it across. Back to Gavin into Kai in the corner. Foster Brands underneath. And a lot of contact. And a foul will happen here. So with .3 seconds left, they're going to have to run a, a lob play in bounds. you got to know what's coming if you're the Coyotes. There's about only one thing you can do in this amount of time. You have to tip it. You cannot catch and shoot. I hope they execute it correctly on the stripe side. Well, they don't. You have to lob it up, and it isn't going to happen. 16-10. New Perk checking account and all the special benefits perfect for someone like you. Reduce risk, save money, get your own Perk checking account. Know that today and every day, First National Bank and Trust is here for you. Good ball movement there to find Drew Skimper in the middle of the paint. We talked about in that little break there, Allen gonna go to the rim, but has it stripped. It. Tallheim to push, one on four, gets it to Hanson, but runs out of room, lobs it back to Tallheim. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That's just two athletes making plays there. Yeah, and you could pick which coyote you want to give this one to. It's going to go against Brennan Aldridge. I was going to say before, the, the press has not slowed down the coyotes as we've seen it do to a lot of other teams. They, they've found themselves breaking it fairly easy so far in this one. Can he drain that first one? Yeah. Goes two for two from the line from Kenton. Just a two point ball game now. Trey Allen has it, going against Gavin Tallheim. Judah, uh, Judah Crow, now to Swing it all the way around. Into the hands of Shim, and now back to Crow. Pass was behind Richardson, but he got it back. Northern Valley staying in that straight man-to-man. -man. Left alone, and so he'll just dribble up and drain it. Aldridge! I'm not really sure why Hanson left him all alone there. If he was daring him to try to shoot that, and uh, kind of burned him or or what happened brands bullies it through allen gets it and just slices through the defense all by himself finds richardson too strong on that one call could have went probably against hansen there they let him play on and just another offensive rebound again aldridge puts yeah, it up that's just effort this is all just effort right now and skimper is gonna go a little effort of his own go fetching after one and gabs it Tallheim, pull up mid-range jump shot is no good. And here's Aldridge now back to Shemp. Allen with it now. Got to be ready to step out on shooters. Richardson with it dead. Aldridge says, I'm not far enough away, but it'll be a miss on that shot. The Coyotes so far in this one have, have done a nice job playing physical, which is what they needed to do to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Huskies, and they've done just that. A little bit of bully <laughs> ball here from he Brands. He's so just trying good to at make that. something happen. He's so good at that. I mean, he, he baits him up in the air, and then he just forces you to be into a terrible. The IHOP or run over to Sonic or maybe even Subway. It's all available at Mittens in Oakley, right off I-70 and Highway 40. Brands calmly steps to the line and puts in the first one. Can be iced outside of the timeout. This one a little strong. Allen rips the rebound. Coyote still holding on to the two point lead. Get out on shooters. Richardson left open. He'll fire a three of his own and he'll put it in. They've shot a good percentage from outside how they've taken the lead here from the number two ranked team in the state, the Northern Valley Huskies. That's how you take down the big dogs. 
Trailer three for Tallheim is short, no good. Third offensive rebound for Hanson. Ben Como got away with one. They'll swing it to Jeremiah here. Inside, Brands, no good. Allen clears. He'll loft it up, no good. Gabe Crow with an offensive rebound. Thought Crow might just take that one back up. Nice dump pass, but it'll go to Northern Valley. Looking for buttons to push. Well, that one was on. I don't know if it usually is or not. I have no idea. <laughs> Rudd to sit. Kai Cox in for him. Give and go action as Rudd will get a foul. Okay. Crow. Gabe Crow. Pass interference. Pass interference, 15-yard penalty, but it's worse than that. He'll send one Kenton. One opportunity. He'll send Kenton Tallheim to the line. One of the better free throw shooters in Northern Valley history, Ames. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. He made him on the top five list. We got the updated stats. Kenton as a sophomore, I believe, found his way into the top five all time. And single season free throw shooting percentage. Of course, his dad sits on top of that list. And he will remind him of that. Well, if Kenton can get to the line a couple more times, he could try to dethrone Pops. So far for three for three, and now four for four from the line from Kenton. Tallheim will come out of the game for Gavin Tallheim. Northern Valley will stay in a 2-2-1 press. They have taken off the, the point of that press. Now Coach Sides likes to run a few different ones, and now Brands is going to be charged with a pass interference call of his own. It was a nice switch to the 2-2-1 two, two, because the way they've been attacking it is down the sideline, pretty easy on that 3-2. Brands picks up his second one on the cross checking. <laughs> he earned that one for sure. Two minutes in the penalty box. They'll get the ball in to Richardson. Back to Aldridge it goes. Finds the rolling Allen. Fade away jumper for him is no good. He Hansen crashes hand the board. Ball. Almost went in there anyway, even though Hanson definitely got a piece of it. And now Allen's going to be whistled for one at half court. To the line goes Gavin. Just the first one on Trey Allen. Eighth team foul. Really shooting a lot of free throws here before halftime with four minutes left. First one up and good for Gavin. And I have to believe the Coyotes will find themselves in the bonus before we get there as well, the way both teams are trying to get out and run. Ken Tolheim comes back into the game for Brian Ben Como as well as Drew Skimper for the other big Foster Brands. Chasing a stat here for us. Oh, man. Not going to happen. Going to have to wait till halftime for gonna it. Not going to happen. Sorry for the interference. Crow gets it across to his brother. Judah now to Gabe. Hesitates. He's awful quick and now it's stolen by Tallhan. He'll go to the gas pedal and they bailed out completely. He started his attack at the rim way further out than I think he thought he was going to. Kind of surprised himself, but yeah, should have been called for the travel if you just get out of his way. So Kenton will go to the line. First shot falls for Tallheim. Second shot is also good for Kenton. Into the game is Ben Como for Kai. A lot of rotation from Coach Kevin Sides right now, trying to get some minutes for the depth players on the bench, some of the reserves, because he realizes how important that is going into a postseason. And he wants to turn it up defensively, I think. 
Yeah, it keeps, it keeps people fresh, keeps them out of foul trouble. It's a really nice strategy against a, a physical and athletic team. Inside, Judah Crow's shot is no good. Tallheim with the muscle rebound. Go to Bencomo, Hanson open into the pocket corner. He didn't look at it though. I thought he should have let it fly. Maybe he just wanted a better shot. Inside, that pass is just too strong from Skimper to Hanson. If he had his hands up a little quicker, he would have found that better shot right there. Ball is tipped away, getting back by the Huskies. How did Gavin make that one? Nice athletic play from the freshman, Tolheim. Travel called on Shim in the corner as he was jumped by a Husky. It's from Stephen Cox and Associates. Northern Valley getting it back with just under three minutes to go here before halftime with a two-point lead. In for Skimper. Sharing the ball maybe a little too much. What do you think? Yeah, I would have loved. I mean, if it's there, that's great, but it really the door kind of collapsed there. Skimper had the shot. Drew with it out high. They're going four out. Gavin hit one early, missed this one. And a cheap one <laughs> against Kenton. Picked the pocket of Richardson. That'll be his second, team sixth. They drop out of the press. Crow with it high. Skimper's got him and nobody's got a count on him. Crow with it. Judah. Fadeaway jump shot for Richardson and he put it in over Gavin. Tied us up at 24 apiece. They'll stay in their press. We haven't had anybody want to speed up Northern Valley, but Jump ball, possession arrow to the Coyotes. Into the corner, they'll go for Aldridge. Richardson, who just hit the last one, has got it now. They'll try and spin, but Gavin was right there for him. Under a minute 30 left before halftime. Knotted up at 24. Both teams want to go on a little bit of a surge here. Take some momentum into the halftime break. Block call called against Hanson as Allen was trying to drive around him. Trey Allen to the line. Got them both. Giving his team the two point lead. Into the corner for Skimper. Now back to Kenton on the far side. They're going to leave Hanson all alone. He's got to look at it. Nice pass on the interior. Brands has his legs tied up, but he'll score through contact. He don't need his legs to score, does he? Guess not. Tallheim with a rip at half court, and he'll go inside. Allen with a great hustle play, saves a bucket. Yeah, the Huskies will keep it, but that was a that was a heck of a play by Trey Allen, busting it to get back to that pass. Goes high for Kenton. Back for Jeremiah. Inside to Skimper it goes. <laughs> I don't know why he held it up for so long. If he had to think about it or if he was ready for the dramatic effect. 
I think he was wanting the dramatic effect, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for you at home. Well, you could have got it, it if he would have made the call. Or <laughs> like, <laughs> unsuspensefully. Skimper hits his first shot from the line. Did you put in for the cake raffle? No, I really should. I just worry I'm going to win and have to go get it. I, I did the Climb same. out of the crow's nest. I did the same thing. I didn't get my name in tonight. I would Don't like you guys get I, like a cake and a two liter of pop every home game? I'd just like I'd like some pastries, right? You got all nice the daughters just winning the pop a shot. Another steal by Northern Valley is this ball. It's going to be swung over to Kenton with a pocket corner three on the way. Bottom. Big shot from Tallheim. This is the surge on offense we were talking about. Trying to outside get a bit of Allen's left alone. Short, no good. Brands has it. Flips it up to Gavin. Gets it up and scores it before the half. It's gonna be over. Kenton might get another one. Big Como up with it. No. Ooh. And look at the barrage by Northern Valley who was down. 20. You cannot go to sleep even for one little bit. And they'll go to their 2-3 zone. Does the Weston Coyotes to start this one. How, go ahead. How made a serious mistake right there. And it was pretty lackadaisical with the inbound. Almost got an over and back. I didn't even see it. I was looking at my computer. Hanson just didn't really catch it and almost lost it off his ankle. Skimper is going to get called for the push, but I like the effort just trying to glide above the defense. Those are the kind of fouls that you're okay with Drew getting, though. Yep, go to the rim. Those are, those are hustle fouls. You want ones where he's going and trying to get boards. Allen breaks this press. Northern Valley stays in there man-to-man. -man. Switched up a few matchups. Judah Crows up a late. Nothing but net. The sophomore made it rain in the first possession of the second half. Into the corner, they'll go for Skimper. Inside to Brands, right through the defense, and scores. Tough assignment for Gabe Crow there, working against Brands if he's just going to be able to bully him like that. And Judah's going to get called for a charge. Judah don't like it. They're going to say Brands was there and established. We'll see via the replay what we think. Yeah. I think Brands was there. But. It is the hardest call to make in our sport. Tallheim, not a skimper. Brands is on the back of that press, so he was able to get back there a step ahead of Judah. Quickly around the horn it goes. Gavin's three. Bottoms! How he started the first half. Crow with it. Going to go to the rim. Gets Skimper in the air, and it's not a foul, I don't know. But he scores the bucket. And I have already lost the book here in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Skimper's three on the baseline, no good, draws no iron. Northern Valley's up seven. Judah and Gabe Crow have all the points. Just about. No, Cup. they do. In the second half? Yeah. Three, three from Judah, two for Gabe. Inside to Richardson, now back outside. Here's Shim, and now back to Judah. Unless you aren't actually wanting to keep both, then I'll stop telling you that. Well, I should. Crow's going to go to the rim and has it blocked by Tallheim. Well, I didn't reconcile my books in, at the end of the first half, so it ain't going to do me a whole lot of good. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> Tallheim's three is no good. All right, we'll stop messing with it then. Just watch some basketball. Allen in. Judah Crow's three on the way. No good. Hanson rebounded it. Slows it down to set up the offense. 
Drew's zone is open. Man, he is smooth from that spot, 15 to 17 feet. And another charging call against Judah. I don't know about this that, one. That one I don't know if I agree with as much. We'll see what you the see other one on was the pretty obvious. This one was. We'll see what the camera angle says. I think, I think that one should have been a blocking foul. Yeah, the first one definitely was a charge. That one was a lot more bang, bang. And usually when it's pretty bang, bang, usually they give the benefit of the doubt to the ball handler. Not in this situation. And Judah they, don't like it. Judah don't like it because that's his fourth, and he's got a set in a game that they wanted to compete with. Jeez. And that's the first turnover here of the second half by Northern Valley as Hanson was trying to find Tallheim in the corner. Ben Como will check back in. Tallheim to sit. And I, we talked about it a little bit here, Aim. I think Coach Sides is putting his team into positions that not normally they are in. Okay, early in the first half, he had all of his bigs on the bench. And here in a nine-point game, he pulls Tallheim, sees how the offense will go without the point guard, trying to force them into situations that they might be in in the postseason. Right. Well, every game after this is, is, a, is a one and done type situation. So <laughs> that one, that one is cheap. <laughs> Two shots coming for Allen. Near automatic at the free throw strike. And a lane violation will go against Jaden Shim, negating the free throw make of Allen. Gabriel is going to come into the game for the Huskies. Foster Brands. More evidence. Side. More evidence, sir. Mm -hmm. Playing the bench. Well, and a good against some very good guards and some very good shooters. Yeah. And Coach Kevin Sides knows he's going to need the likes of Rudd and Kai and, and Ben Como if they really want to hang <laughs> another banner up there. Jeremiah Hansen, that's his first three-point attempt of the evening, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. He's been shooting it. Feels like it anyway. <laughs> excellent percentage from deep the last five games, including a four-for-four four mark the other night. Good assignment here for Rudd, working against Gabe Crow, one of the more athletic bigs in the league. No good for that. Rudd was out of position, and he'll get called yep. for the foul. Didn't put a body on anybody. And that's why I was saying it's a good assignment. You're going to learn real quick that you cannot fall on your, to your heels when you're going against someone as shifty and quick as Gabe Crow. Gabe Crow is a tough assignment they for They actually anybody. gave it to Gavin Tallheim, though. But nonetheless, the foul was because Gabe was out of position. Yeah, Gabe did not box him out. And Crow is so active. He crashes the boards extremely hard. Second one, good for Crow. Still within striking distance. Nine point lead here for the Huskies. Skip for Gavin. That's a terrible pass, and Allen picked it off. Yeah, especially with Trey just sitting, sitting there, licking his chops right in the middle of the, of the paint at the high post. Back to Allen. They'll go with it. He's tied up in the middle, and Hanson just rips it away from him. And it'll be a foul out high. We'll go against Shim at the half court line. Kenton and Foster Brands and Kai Cox all will check in here for Northern Valley. Ben Como, Gavin, and Drew Skimper to sit. Hanson. 
High post for Brands, working against everybody of the defense. Kicks back out. Hanson wiggles around and scores it. <laughs> that, I'm hitting just, the replay button. That's just <laughs> him being an athletic playmaker right there. That's nuts. Look at him just take the ball to the baseline and go, bye-bye, jump it around and put it down. There's just not very many people that can do that the way that he just did that. And he's picked up defensive intensity as well as he's got the assignment of Gabe Crow now. Allen's shot on the switch is jump ball is Kenton's right there to tie up Allen. But you see what Kenton turned and said? Gabe, box the shooter out, man. It's good to hear. Sometimes you gotta hear it from the other guys on the team when it finally hits home. Tallheim riding Allen way out high. It will be a foul on the floor. Yep, Allen just beat him on the dribble. Kenton's third on the evening. So the Coyotes will play a little bit of small ball now. They put in Richardson. Crow comes out. A lot of people that can hit a three out there right now. I think just about everybody. This is Nick Cottrell over here, number 23. Failed to mention his name when he came in. And how did that rip come for Hanson? The finger roll and put it in. Timeout. High level of customer service. Their rural location gives them access to a workforce with a very strong work ethic. And that ball will go over to the Coyotes. Aim and I were trying to remember the last team who came into the doghouse and left with a victory. Sorry, left you down. And a three pointer is good. I thought you were asking when was the last season where we went undefeated on the home court. Oh. No, I was just trying to figure out who was the last team to beat us here. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I guess I can go look. You want me to do a little investigative work? Unless old Bailey Sides happens to be uh, listening, I'm guessing he remembers. That's a turnover for Tallheim. And they'll go back over to the Coyotes, just down 10 now. Needing a bucket just with a minute to go in the third quarter. And we're going to talk about it. I didn't see it. It happened directly underneath us. Yep, camera angle was bad work there. There was a popcorn incident over here on the left that got my eye. <laughs> camera. Tallheim thought he had a rip. Allen's got it back. He'll put it down and go to the rim and put it in as Richardson. Hanson with it on the wing. Inside, high post. Gonna say the foul came before the shot attempt. 12 got it. That's Shim. Skimper and Gavin Tallheim to come in. Corner pocket three for Gavin Tallheim is short, no good. Here comes Richardson. And a blocking foul will go against Kenton. So, so I did some I did some research. Exhaustive Googling. Kind of. I did have to go back to the 2020, 2021 season, and it was Trigo. Thought here, it might be. The Charlie L Russell led Golden Eagles. Came in here on a uh, a split game as that was the year we had a few canceled and they had a few canceled and we had an open date just at the same time right ahead of substate. So so far, pretty much two full seasons of home court advantage. Hanson. West can doing their best to try to break that streak though. They're still in this one. Gavin. We'll get it back over to Hanson. 
Ben Como, long two pointer for him. No good. With no time left on the clock, they got to wave that off. <laughs> Northern Valley to play it in. Weskin's going to stay in that 2 3 zone defense. Both Crow brothers on the bench at the moment. Northern Valley has the opportunity just to settle for absolute good shots, and somehow Skimper saves the possession. Hanson out of Bencomo. Inside to Skimper, and he has it ripped by Shem, and now over to Allen. He's gonna go right at him, and a beautiful steal by Hanson. But then Allen gets it right back with a three a thievery of his own. Set the offense here with Shim. Aldrich. Hansen in his grill. Shim in the corner, marked by Brands. And it'll go off of Brands, giving it back over to the Coyotes. They fell for it once in the first half. They did not fall for that play in the second. Northern Valley is zoned. Aldridge is three in the corner is no good. Quickly up the court, Northern Valley's got numbers. Euro! Ooh, that was, that was saucy. <laughs> oh, nice play, Mr. Gavin. And now a steal here by, oh, Skimper couldn't keep. They called a foul on the baseline. Goes against Drew Skimper, his Drew's third. Drew's third. Three-pointer got come from Allen. Short, no good. Skimper skied for that ball. Ben Como, back to Hanson, now back to Bryan. Bench noise picked up here for the Coyotes. Well, you know they want it. They came in playing a physical Game of basketball knew that's what they needed to do to even be in this game in the fourth quarter, and they are right now. Just a 10 point game. With six minutes left to decide who gets to come away victorious. That's good. But with shots like that, that's how you. Jeremiah Hansen, I mean, he just sits around going, You guys ready? I'll get you a good shot, get you a good shot. Okay, they're not going to guard me. I will make this. Yeah. Skimper with a steal. And he'll bring the ball up, flip it over to Gavin. Swing it for Gavin, his three on the way could be a big nail and it's short. Quickly up the floor to Trey. Gathers into the middle of the rim, but he'll drop it for a teammate. Here comes Gavin. Around the back dribble, now kick to Hanson, looking for his third, but it's gonna go short. Cottrell with it. Running out of real estate. This Northern Valley defense collapsed, now a three-pointer's up, and a foul will go against Skimper there. That's gonna be Drew's fourth. Crows are both back on, Judah and Gabe. I would expect the Coyotes to know that he's at four fouls and, and go right at Drew. Well. One and one. No. Who did she call that foul on? Okay. They just didn't. They just didn't have him up. The correct. The mathematician. Um, hadn't had him down yet. Yeah. They just got the fouls on the wrong side. Got it. Got it worked out. 
There's been a couple of fish eating crews that wouldn't have even caught that that we've had this year. So I guess nice work by the stripes. Glad we got that cleaned up. Because it does make a difference. Absolutely. Because I bet you Alan knocks both these in. Yeah, it's a pretty good bet. It's kind of surprised not to see him in the in the finals of the, the league. Free throw shooting. Free throw competition. I don't know. Brands was pretty lights out. And I don't know if McCarty has missed yet. <laughs> no, I don't think so. A lot of good free throw shooters in this league. Fighting for the belt, the shootout belt, right? That's what we're still trying to. Oh yeah, trying to find push for. We need a we need a like a WWE style free throw championship belt. Give go brand score. They've been sitting on the bench for a lot of this fourth quarter. Kenton and and Foster come in and quickly make a difference. Three pointer, no good. Guess who's there for an offensive rebound and stick it back and score it. it that's that's a hard lesson that Gabe is going to have to learn right there as he lost him. That's his guy. And then he fouls him. <laughs> Sides can just put us on the tape, right? I guess. I don't know. It might be more effective coming from coach. But you're big and you're. Athletic, you gotta find a body, and, and you're hard to get around, Gabe. You just gotta gotta find him. Judah with this offensive rebound, they'll reset, and yeah, that's a foul on Brands. One and one coming for Richardson. You don't want to foul people if you're Northern Valley and put them to the line here. No, that's not how you ice a game by stopping the clock and letting them get free throws. And so Skimper checks back in with his four. Eleven point game, but I do not feel like this is an insurmountable lead. But if they're not gonna make free throws, it just might be. Drew is gonna have to play smart and safe. But he's been rebounding at such a good clip in this one, and we see it right there, and he follows up his own shot, goes to the line for the end one opportunity. It kind of opened up for him. I thought he was gonna really take a run at the rim. Rolls it up and down and in. Three-point play. Just like that, it's now 14. And a steal by Gavin. Puts it up with the left hand. You just got to go through contact there, Gavin. Here comes Allen. Skimper does not want to foul. And a jump ball will be held in between Tallheim and Allen. Stays here with the Coyotes. Open in the corners, Aldridge no good. Guess who with another offensive rebound? Gabe Crow and also and that's a foul. A Is that his fifth? No, oh, that was Judah with five, four. Nope. nope. That is his fifth. Gabe fouls out on that one. It's been a joy calling your game, son. He played I, well. He played hard. I always like watching Gabe. I love the energy that you bring each and every night. More full court pressure here by the Coyotes as they've got to create some turnovers here by Northern Valley. Back door, Tallheim to the rim, lays it up and in. Yeah, but they're in the point in this game where if they really want to make a run and get back uh, in it with the Huskies, they've got to take some risks, and you see it right there. The problem with risks, sometimes they come back and bite you. Yeah, they went man, and they beat them back door. Now brother fed the other way around. Both the Tallheims are pretty fresh. That's hard to stop in the fourth quarter. Well, everybody from Northern Valley is fresh because Sides has played his bench quite a bit tonight. Richardson in the middle of the lane, no good. Quickly up the floor to Kenton again. Pull up jump shot. Just trying to put this game away. Put it on his shoulders. <laughs> Just like that, it's 20 points. And they're looking for more. 
that go against Brands. I thought that one was pretty soft. I don't know which one that is on him. Four. Brennan Aldridge is who finds himself at the line right now. Nails the first. Checking out Foster Brands and Trey Allen as Javier, the foreign exchange student, has checked in. He had six in the junior varsity match. Second one, no good. Inside, they'll go to Skimper. Skip pass to Kenton. Now back it around to Gavin. Northern Valley just moving that basketball left to right. Finds Rudd underneath. Puts it up. No good. Skimper pushes around, and he'll go back to the free throw line to shoot two more. Foul goes against Javier Shirley. Javi picks up his first and skimper to the line. Subs come in for the Coyotes. Shim as well. It's number 21, D. Stein. Another foreign exchange student. And Jackson Cadle, number 35 with the flow. Pass gets away from Shem. Kai Cox will check into the game for the Huskies with two minutes left in this one. Ben Coma will also look to come into the game. Hanson will sit as well. And that's going to be more than likely all she wrote in this one. Really impressive from the Huskies to be able to Oh, it was Nick Cottrell taking a big hit right there. Yeah, I didn't see it. I hit the replay button. Tallheim got him for cross-checking. Third foul on Gavin. But I thought both teams, you know, Weskin definitely came out and executed the way that they wanted to, especially early on and, and even at halftime. It was just there in that last minute where – the Huskies were really able to, to kind of take over the game and play their pace of ball and the command they wanted to. But since then, the, they were able to stay fresh. They were able to rotate, and it just worked really well for the Huskies tonight. Now what we do need to mention, Clint, is the Coyotes are going getting ready to go play their version of state this week. Oh, that's right. So um, for all you Northern Valley fans, you don't know that. Um, Weskin has chosen not to be a Keisha affiliated school. Okay? So they don't have to follow the rules of Keisha. So their tournament, their postseason tournament looks like this. It's a three-day stretch in Wichita where they uh, go to a tournament there. There'll be a bunch of other non keisha affiliated schools there. They have competed in this the last couple of years. We've talked to the uh, yeah, not only years. the coaches but the fans as well. They all seem to like it. Um, it gives an opportunity for the kids to make a trip, stay at the hotel room, and have some really high competition. And once again, that will start this weekend in Wichita for the boys and girls Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I believe. And we wish the Weskin Coyotes good luck in that tournament. Absolutely. You know, they, they come out here, they're a really salty team. They're going to give a lot of schools in that tournament uh, fits. You know, they, they, they're a savvy group. They got a chance to make a really nice run in that three-day tourney. Quickly up the floor to Ben Como. He'll lay it off and no good, but Kai's there for a follow and he missed it. I enjoy the Weskin Coyotes and their friends. 
I know it's a long trip up here into the valley, but we appreciate you putting it back on the schedule, though. So it would have been a shame to not get to watch these teams go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. As for the Huskies, I believe the men are going to get a first round bye. So they will not have a game. <laughs> That was pretty close for Skimper. It doesn't count, man. It, it was, wasn't, but it was getting close. It was not a dunk by Drew. Yeah, everyone else was, was doing the ooh and ah, too. And so, Jason does not get in this one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get your full game stats after the, this break, but congratulations to the Northern Valley Huskies on a 69-45 win here tonight over the Weston Coyotes.